Attack shooters. A tower that attacks everywhere around it in a short radius. All on if you can make it that. So we're going to be trying to get all pops with tack shooters of all tier fives. And to spice things up, we are only going to be using a submersion support as a means of decamification because, well, tack shooters cannot pop camos unless there's something there to either give it camo detection or if the balloons can be decamified themselves. So we are specifically going to be going for a 302. Now you might be wondering what does twin guns and airburst starts enable for the submersion support itself? Well, it enables it to decamify balloons that a bit more quickly, and we're going to need some help when it comes to this. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going straight up for a 302, so that we've got our lead issues sorted because that's going to be the other issue which we're going to face early on in the game if we do not get hot shots at any given point in time it's the fact that we cannot pop leads whatsoever but we're going to need to place down our submersion support as early as possible in order for us to be able to do this little challenge with it is not an achievement that you can find in the game but since doing the axis of havoc which involves placing down all Tier 3, sorry, <laughs> all three tier 5 snipers down onto the pitch. But I also did that so that they all got all the pops within the game. So I thought, why not do that for other towers in which you can deploy all three of them down simultaneously on the same game and enable all of three of them to get all the pops within a chimps game. No, you cannot deploy down Ray of Doom, Mad, and Balloon Exclusion Zone. There's not enough money for you to be able to do that little once before you put in the comment section below. Well, actually, you can get this tower or that tower. You can get all of them up to tier 5. Well, if you cannot place it down on round 6, then there is no point considering it, little ones. And I'm talking about the people who love to try and prove me wrong in the comment section by not providing any kind of facts and thinking, well, actually, this does that. But then you don't provide an explanation for people to learn and go off. And that is just the sheer minority of yours. For the sheer majority of you, thank you ever so much for all of your support. We're going to be putting auto start off so we can place this down and it will not get any pops whatsoever. Let's see. Now we are at submergent support. We do not have to worry about accidentally popping anything. This will not be unsubmerged for any reason whatsoever. There we go. And because of the fact it took a little bit of time for it to decamify that green balloon. We're going to be going to airburst us so that this can decamify balloons just a little bit more quickly. Round 26 is here. We're going to be placing down our second one. And this one's going to be our blade shooter. I was just trying to think where it would be best. Yeah, we're going to put it here. And we're going to be doing even more attacks. Reason why we're not going for that additional attack rate. Um, the Super Maelstrom has recently got some buffs to where if you go down the bottom path, cross path with the middle path, uh, the ability itself doesn't take as long to recharge and already has a recharge rate of like nearly zero with everything involved, including an energizer and a primary expertise. But the Super Maelstrom does not take that long to recharge whatsoever, so we can fully utilize it to its fullest potential. Thank you very much. Right, now we place it down our third one, and we're going to be going towards... You know what? We're going to be risky and pair bottom path with the middle path. So it means the only thing that gets a faster attack rate uh outside of overdrive is the top path each shelf which is innate by default going for that kind of thing of increased fire rate but then again that applies to both the top and the bottom path look at these camo balloons being decamified i'm hoping that the ddt's later on 
we'll be able to be geek camo 5 before it exits down here otherwise we're going to be having ourselves some issues and we might actually just need a village in order to replace our submersion support round 37 is done round 38 is here green of fire definitely and what blade maelstrom i think having that ability here and there is going to be very nice round 39 and we are very close to our first moab also another thing about pursuing bottom path is that the ability itself spins counterclockwise rather than clockwise there we go yep it goes in a counterclockwise formation rather than a clockwise formation very neat let's just get ourselves some overdrive and then we'll be shooting incredibly fast with our bottom path with middle path tag shooter I don't even know where I was going with that. Yeah, if the pink balloons are not making it through, then there's not going to be a, a lot more hours that can possibly evade the submersion supports' decamification process. Supports? Is? What on earth is that? And why resort to do this on? Well, this little square here is probably the most tack shooter and ice tower friendly a uh, bit that there is in the entire game of balloons tower defense six but that could also go towards pat and sorter as well with its incredibly short range there we go that's the moab pops we're going to be yeah super maelstrom first then the attack zone and then the inferno rain will be our last one these two will carry us through the mid game and then when we can, we get Inferno Ring. We will be scorching all of them. Absolutely all of them. Aside the bubbles and temporarily the camels. It is currently 30 degrees centigrade in the UK at the moment. And I am suffering with this heat right now. And looking at this map probably doesn't even help that much. Like this help maps in the winter months. When it comes to the summer months, it makes me feel even hotter. And not in a good way. There we go. Wait a minute, where did the sound effect go for that ability? I'm on certain, and there's the ability again. But where's the sound effect for this ability? There should be a spindly ability sounding sort of thing, but I guess you vision that, or maybe the other sounds are overriding that sound. But what other sounds are there aside from the popping of balloons? Or maybe it doesn't have a sound effect with this particular cross path. Who knows with Ninja Kiwi and their enigmatic nature. There we go. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to decamify faster if we didn't have air burst darts on the field. You could pursue middle path, but then again, that wouldn't do anything for the decamifying aspect of this particular build. We could go Balloontonian, but we're not going to do that. We're not about that life. We are about the tag shooter life. And that tag zone life, which will be here shortly. Thank you very much. And now these two towers, one side our arena five of the legs, will carry us through until the 80s and beyond. Now 63 is going to be an absolute breeze with these particular towers. And they will go down like everything else that came before them. Now 63, lovely jubbly. If you're watching this chronologically, as in like when I make videos, we've recently done a Inferno Ring and Etienne to uh, Tower Chimps. And people are wondering why didn't I just upgrade Etienne to level 20? Well, the thing about round 98 is if you try and pop the fortified mobs too quickly, then you will not be able to divide and conquer each of the mobs that you pop so that you'll be able to target the super fortified ceramics individualistically rather than trying to pop them all simultaneously which you will far exceed the pierce count or the pierce cap sorry of a particular tower which means all of those other super ceramics in which are not affected whatsoever will just simply zoom past which is why sometimes having more firepower in a particular given point in time is not the dumb thing to do. And what do I mean by super ceramics? Well, past round 80 into free play, ceramics is HP, their properties get hugely buffed, and you get less money by popping them as well, I believe. 
Ground 68 is here. And guess what? Yeah, there's no sound effect. Who made off of a sound effect of our Super Maelstrom? Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. So, actually, as I was just talking about how this is the only thing that can pop leads. When you go to Super Maelstrom, this can actually pop leads. Mainly because, also, you cannot put the sharpening stone if you have Geraldo on the field. But, we would rely on Geraldo just far too much in order to get us through games and stuff like that. So, I thought... Switch it up for us some motion support when it comes to be able to see camos and all that jargon. We are two fifths of the way to purchasing Inferno Rain. Round 74 is coming to a close with the ceramics and this BFB being the only opposition left of this particular round. Although it feels like this round is like two rounds because the BFB and the ceramic, or for four or five ceramics there. Can I take a little bit of time to spawn after the other balloons do of that particular round? Let's see. Go to work. Super Maelstrom. Yeah, you have like about 60% uptime without any other kind of buffs involved exterior ones. There we go. Round 76 is here. And there we go. We have completely whitewashed that round. And we're on now round 77. Talking about the heat people of the u.s just just keep on saying why don't you just put your aircon on guess what us in europe we don't have aircon just like you don't have free health service for your people hearing me round 78 is here uh just deal with all these rainbows i could have shaved this for the ceramics but i think it will come back in time for that there we go, there we go, and light them all up. Excellent. Round 78 is done. Round 79. Around famous for having a huge amount of regrow rainbow balloons that can sometimes be the death of us. Cough, cough, Moab domination to Mega Pops. Round 79 is coming to uh, near close. Just dealing with a rem last of these, um, so I say remnants there. The last of these regrow rainbows are now to the fortified BFBs. They are being torn down asunder, lovely. And we have only got ourselves just under 9k away from the magnificent Inferno Rain. Come on now. Come on now. Come close as you, OMG. I swear there's nothing that's going to pop you and your innards. I swear on the balloon guards themselves. Round 81 is here. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. You three can do this. It's just a matter of if those DDTs can be decamified early enough so that they, they can start being popped. So we cannot rely on the tag zone when it comes to DDT pops. Because it cannot pop them. It is a sharp thing, not a normal thing. This is throwing out normal classified projectiles. This is fire. This is sharp. Normal means it doesn't have any weaknesses when it comes to particular properties of towers. Oh, I forgot about Inferno Ring, actually. Let's put you on strong so that you're always targeting the strongest most balloons like these Moabs. Thank you. And we are done with the round. Yes, no, yes, no, yeah. Yeah, since having the Inferno Ring, these super ceramics have been dealt with quite nicely rather than going all the way through here. But this best question of whether or not we could actually go through the later rounds with this in mind i hope so all three of these are quite powerful their own ways zomg is being meteored by the infernoring lovely target the other zomg so that, that can be torn asunder and we have ourselves round here round 86 Fortified BFBs of this round for any other things alongside the Inferno Rings' main attack dealing with the fortified ceramics. Let's just chuck let's just chuck that out. It's free damage at the end of the day. And keep on going, keep on going. Lovely. 
And 87 is a Dunzo. Yep, Dunzo. Round 88 is here. Lovely. Round 88. This is what we call a breeze so far. But I'm pretty sure the 90s and definitely 100 will be the most challenging of them all. Probably not the bad because of the meteors of the Infernarine. But everything else. The huge numbers. The camo status of the DDT. Those could bite us in the area in which we will not talk about. But you know where. Round 89 is done. Round 90 is here. And it's trying to target those. But alas, it cannot. There we go. Yeah, the Super Maelstrom is not particularly strong against super fortified ceramics. But then nothing can say that they're truly the master of popping them. I'll say Spirit of Forest is probably a tier 5 tower that can just like easily handle super fortified ceramics. Round 92. Lovely, lovely. Keep on popping those ZOMGs. Pop the strongest, most balloons. Thank you very much. And we have ourselves wraps of that round. Let's see. Also, somebody in my previous video was saying that DDTs only have lead property. What I'd say is try plopping down just a regular bomb tower with a radar scanner next to it and see for yourself how much damage you can do to the DDT by trying to do that. I'm telling you, if you get anything more than zero, then there is some whack stuff going on at the moment because DTs, as far as I've always remembered, has the black property, has the lead property, and has the camo property. Meaning that you can't use sharp explosives and anything that cannot detect camos at all when it comes to this sort of stuff. Right, we should really time this. Excellent timing is key with this particular stuff. And the DDTs have gone down lovely. Oh, those, those last few there were a little bit sus in their own ways, not going to lie. So the only pause we've had of this game is uh, turning off auto start so we can put this down without it getting any pops. Zero pops by the submarine. <laughs> lovely. That's why I wanted to end up. Did I just do a quick break while I unsubmerge it temporarily and then end the round? <laughs> no. That is a stupid prank. And if you ever put that in the comment section, you will be blocked. I'm just kidding, but I will not appreciate that overly. But I'll still laugh at the end of the day. There we go. Round 97 has been dealt with. Now, this is the big round. This is the mahusive round. Keep on doing that. Keep on doing that. Lovely, jubbly, lovely, jubbly. Let's see. Let's try and squash all of these super fortified ceramics here and now. Come on, ability. 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 There we go. The ability is up. The cap. Can we do this? You know what? Let's put you on first so that you're always popping that. And then we're going to go to the back and pop the BFBs back there. If we can, that is. See. Yeah, let's put you on last. Hmm. We might struggle here. So the timing of our ability is paramount. And the fortified have been dealt with. Oh, that was super close up there, actually. Now, can we have our ability back for the fortified DDT? So that is a good question there. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Might have to spam this quite early, actually. Hmm. So not a black border guide. And I feel like we might need to start this again so that we have the Super Maelstrom ready for this particular round. Uh, no, actually, just put you on first and hopefully you do the... Actually, just put you on strong and hopefully you do the job. Thank you very much. Decamo boy, please. Oh, no. Gosh, I'm limited time this morning. I've got work to do after this. And I mean work as in earn money work. Great. Uh, no, 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 no. God damn it. 
I sound like that guy from Family Guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Cleveland, I think it is. Oh, you spawn super quickly, but not super quickly enough. There we go, round 99 with a recharged Super Maelstrom at the ready now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, just a little bit, a little bit better timing on that is all we require. Put you on strong so that you're always targeting DDTs. Thank you very much. And there we go. That was the big round in which I was a little bit concerned about. Round 99 has been squashed, now we just have this badge to deal with, and then we can all go home and have a lovely sleep. I'm talking about all four of you. All of you four have been brilliant in your own ways, and the DDT... Ooh, you nearly escaped there, but alas! We have done this with our star bean, the Inferno Rain. And also, I've done a slight switch up so that every time a balloon is around this area here, well, the center of the top bit of the Super Maelstrom, which has all of the ta so all of the blades that shoes out of it, well, all of them can hit a single balloon at any given point in time, which means maximum damage in that single central point. So yeah, the tag zone. Uh, we could have done it without it, but honestly, it was the least vital of the three tier fives of the tag shooter, but all of them got the job done with absolutely zero pops on the submerged submarine. If even one crept up there, we would have to do this all pops challenge with all tier fives of this again. There we go. Do that thank you all so much for watching let me know what videos you'd like to see me do next within the comment sections below civilly thank you all so much for watching and there will be no cave monkey to sorry two mega pops simply because of the fact well can you actually do it with such a short range tower which cannot be buffed unless it gives external buffs because the damn thing cannot be upgraded it can only stun really Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves, everyone.